Hey, good morning. Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra. And together we're Everyday CNAs. I love that. Everyday yes. CNAs. How many of you guys have actually looked at one of your coworkers and think, we're still together after yes. all these years. That's a song. Still together, you're yes. still the one. And that's how I kind of feel about LaShonda. We have been through a lot, a lot of yes. um, adventures over the years. I have learned um, so much from her, and hopefully she can say oh, the yes. same thing Most about de me. Oh, definitely. We are. You're um, my mentor, yes. Very, yes. When you find someone that you um, connect with, you can go places that you have never imagined seeing yourself before. Yes. It's like that extra dose of encouragement, um, self-esteem. Everything gets kicked in oh, yeah. all into one, you know. But um, the title of this um, show that we're doing is called Busy Month. And the reason why we kind of did that title is October has so much um, awareness programs out there. Mm -hmm. It is so hard for us to set and decide which one is more important because they're all important. Yes. You know, to each and every one of us. But the biggest one is breast cancer awareness. Yes. And um, we want to stress how important it is to make sure you're doing your self-examinations. Um, Make sure you buddy up, you know, so I could say, hey, LaShonda, we're going to buddy up and we're going to make sure that we get our mammograms yes. and, you know, our, do our self-examinations yes. and everything. And don't forget that men are actually yeah, having more. more problems with breast cancer as well. So, you know, it could be a touchy subject and a man may think, oh, hey, hey, hey. But, you know, think about reaching out to one of your male CNAs. If you have a good open relationship, I mean, of course, you're not going to do self-examinations together. But you can right. say, hey, support me on my mammogram. I'll support you. And that's one way to build up a good connection with a male CNA because most male CNAs, they feel like they're just there for their muscles. Yes. And there's so much more than that in our facilities. Well, a lot of men don't think they can get breast cancer, but you know now it's more and more men that's coming out with breast cancer exactly. than women. So exactly, everyone needs to get checked. They do. And then we have. Um, I think you were oh, kind of concerned the... about about this one. We're not really concerned, but um, wanted to address the issue, and that was the blue up day. Mm -hmm. You know, for bullying. You know. You know, you need to talk to your kids because, you know, bullying can lead to other kids harming themselves. You know, you have to just tell your kids that, you know, even if their friends are picking on someone, they don't have to follow in their footsteps. You know, exactly. just be your own person. Go talk to that kid. Like I said, you don't know what the kid is going through at home, what kind of home life they have. You could be the one to make a difference. So if you talk to your kids, you know, they could be the ones to make a difference in someone's life and turn them around. Exactly. Even um, online bullying is becoming oh. a big issue. And since we're talking about bullying, um, we hear all the time as CNAs that the older CNAs eat their young. And yes. we need to see if we can stop that out because if we truly want our profession to grow, we need to support the older CNAs just as much as the younger ones coming in. So kind of take a younger CNA underneath your wing and just, you know, be the leader for them. And if you see them being picked on in the break room or even making comments in the hallways and taking bets on them, kind of just be the one to kind of end that conversation and let them know that you're glad that they're in there working yes. in your facility because you, you know, I'm sure you get tired of, of, of working short and all that on the staffing. Well, think about it. If some of your staffing problem was due to your own actions that you were doing throughout throughout your home, yes. throughout your facility. You know, who wants to work in a place that feels unwanted and you're isolating mm -hmm. them? You know, it's it's yeah. kind of sad. Well, anytime you're a new CNA or a new nurse or new employee, period, you know, you feel like, it's people are already there, so they're like in a group. Mm -hmm. But you can't be, you know, you need to be that one person to step out of that group and take them in. 
because they could be a potentially good CNA and you're running them off and they might not want to even do that job anymore because right. of the experience they've had. Because exactly. I know a lot of girls now that doesn't even want to do nursing because of the, some of the experiences, of you know. And then that brings to us our next topic. It's actually Stand Up Day yes. in October. And that is just basically, you know, be brave in a yes. certain situation if, if you can. Stand up for someone. It does not matter what their belief, what their religion, um, you know, how they do things, anything. Don't pick on someone just because they're different than you. We are all equal, mm -hmm. you know. Help one another out and, you know, as a CNA, I've, I've said this in the past, a CNA does not pass judgment on someone that we take care, care of. So why would you pass judgment against one another? That's it just right. doesn't make sense. Yes. And if everyone would see what a CNA sees on an on a everyday, yes. just think about how this world um, would be. And the last topic that we were going to discuss. Well, you know, like we just like... Remember, if you see someone eating alone, you know, go join them. Mm -hmm. Ask them, can you join them, you know? You know, like, just be mindful of them. Like, just, you know, just right. and it, it's team a, up with them. Yeah, if I'm pronouncing it right, it's called Inclusion Week. Mm -hmm. I think that's how, yes. how they're pronounced, putting it out there. Yeah, they include. So, you know, invite everyone. Um, the biggest thing that we've heard in, heard in the past in our facilities have been, well, you're scheduling a NACA leadership team or you're recognizing the whole facility, say, as um, nursing home week or CNA week. You have some shifts that feel that they are being left out, yes. like night shift, you know, they don't want to stay over. Day shift doesn't want to, you know, come in or yes. anything. So just make everyone feel welcome. If you know a new CNA or like Shonda had, LaShonda had mentioned, you know, nursing, even if it's administrator coming into your building, yes. just say, hey, how about going to eat lunch with me and take mm -hmm, the time? Mm -hmm. If you see someone that's constantly going to smoke break by themselves or something, just say, hey, do you mind if I tag along? And that's one way to build up a, a good yes. good friendship and ex and a excellent um, working yes. environment. It's very true, mm -hmm. so... They just need to, you know, just like I said, invite them. Invite them somewhere. Like, would you like to go have lunch with me after work? Or would you like mm -hmm. to, I mean, just anything. I mean, just, you know, you can make a difference. One person can make a difference. That's right. It's it all it takes. Yeah. It don't, what did we learn in Washington, D.C.? I think it was our very own Dane Henning. He said one person can cause a movement. So yes. think about that. You could be the movement in your own facility, you know, and not just with welcoming new CNAs. Um, get to know your policies in your in your facility. Get to know all of your residents' rights. Yes. You know, just constantly learning and growing, and uh, you'll be surprised how you can turn into a awesome CNA. Not that you're not awesome already, but once you take pride in your work, you take pride in yourself. Um, you can go amazing places. I never thought that I would be here um, yes. doing CNA TV, yes. having you set oh, by yes. my side or anything. Thank you, yes. And Great. it's just been amazing. And I got to this point because NACA has always been here for me. Yes. So, you know, you can, you'll hear me say this a million times, and I'll keep repeating it a mm -hmm. million times. NACA is here for you. Yes. They are here for, you know, your education, your your motivation. Yes. I mean, there is nothing that NACA cannot do for you. You mm -hmm. just have to believe in yourself. You have to realize that someone is out there, you know, rooting for you. Yes. So please reach out to us. You can reach out to LaShonda and I. You can make a comment at the end of our show. Um, you can reach out to us personally. Um, you know, send us an invite and uh, ask us, you know, to be friends on yes. Facebook. Um, if 
Please do not be embarrassed if that's what you're going through. No question is ever a stupid question. No. If we do not know the answer to a question that you may have, we will yes. find that answer. So please um, just keep going, stay strong, and uh, we'll see you next time on Everyday CNAs.